Hey everyone, Serge here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up TF2 VR on your Valve Index. So not too long ago I made a video showing how to do it on the Oculus, and now I'm going to show you how to do it on the Valve Index. I'm hoping to make this video very short, so uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open up NVIDIA Control Panel. So now we're going to go down to Change Resolution and select Customize. You'll see I already have what we're going to do here, uh, but you're going to do Create Custom Resolution. You're going to set this to 2880. You're going to set this to 1600, and then you're just going to set this to whatever refresh rate you have configured in Steam VR. I have my index running at uh, 120 hertz. I think it's a good balance between 90 and 144. So I'm going to do 120, and it's going to tell me it's going to tell me I have a duplicate resolution because obviously I already have this in here. But for you, it'll try to test out the monitor settings, and then if it succeeds, you can hit save. So you'll see we've got this 2880 by 1600 uh, resolution in here now. Hit OK. And that's all we're going to do in the NVIDIA control panel. Go ahead and close that down. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up Steam. Open up Steam VR. Uh, obviously, uh, have your headset connected at this point. I always have it connected because I think most people do. So now that Steam VR is starting to pop up, we're going to click on the three bars here. Go down to Developer, Developer Settings, and when the Developer Settings open up, for some reason I'm opening another monitor, uh, we've got this option of Disable Direct Display Mode. Select that. It's going to give you a warning that it's going to tell you what Direct Display Mode does if you don't know. It extends the headset onto the desktop, so basically it's seeing the headset as another monitor, and it's not recommended, but we want it for TF2 because this is based on really old VR stuff. So we're going to say yes to this. Hey guys, Christian the Editor, and uh, Serge forgot to mention that you actually want to go ahead and turn back on Enable Direct Display Mode whenever you are done playing TF2 in VR. It will not automatically change it, and you want to make sure that you change it back before you close out Steam VR. To do that, again, just go back to Developer Settings and select Enable this time. That'll automatically restart, and then it will, um, and after it restarts, it won't be seen as a display. It's a pretty important thing not mentioned in the video, so I thought I'd go ahead and put this in post. So this is what I'm seeing on my screen. This is because I've done a slight configuration so that it's not quite as annoying to work with this. So what I'm going to show you to do, show you how to do. So if you're, if you're seeing this right now, that means that direct display mode is off. That's what we want. So we're going to go down to settings down here, and we're going to go into the display settings of the computer. And you'll see I have this set to display on my main monitor and on the index monitor. They're basically mirroring each other. I think this is a much easier thing to do instead of having in my case three separate monitors and having to scroll the mouse between the two it's not fun so so to do that all you're gonna do is uh, so let me let me disable this real quick so for me this is what I see by default and so this big ass one right here that's not my two other 1080p monitors is the headset so what we're gonna do is so I know we can identify the monitors I know that my main monitor right now that I'm recording on is monitor number two and we know that the big monitor which is the valve index is monitor number one so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to duplicate these on one and and two. So the reason I want to do this is it's much easier to see what you're doing than having to use the actual headset as another desktop screen. It's really awkward and I don't like it, so that's why I want to do this. Not necessary, just easier. Okay, so now that we got that set up, that's basically all of the difficult uh, configuration for this. Now I want to go down to Steam and go right click on TF2, Properties, and you're going to want to copy down these launch options right here. I'll put them in the description so they're easy to copy and paste, but it's just VR and then the uh, dimensions of your headset. That's all you need. You can have other stuff too, but uh, you need those for sure. And then you also want to make sure that use desktop game theater while Steam VR is active is ticked off. We do not want to have Steam VR open up when we're trying to open TF2. And that's it for the configuration. So now let's go ahead and get into actually playing the game. Oh yeah, and you'll also get this warning about uh, TF2 not supporting VR. It does support VR just very poorly. So just go ahead and ignore that. Hit OK. Sorry, I have a voice meter banana and I forgot to change the audio settings. So this is going to look kind of weird for a second. This is actually a good time to uh, describe another thing. So if you ever have to tab out of TF2 for whatever reason, uh, you'll see this, you know, these red dots again that kind of shows your HMD display. Just click again on TF2 and you'll see it shows up again. Alright, so now I have audio. And, uh, gotta be honest, it does look kind of weird. So the menu just, it looks like the normal menu, but it's really small right in the center of your uh, screen. It's also really close. You know, keep in mind this is old uh, VR technology. So. It's not going to work perfectly on, on the index, obviously, but it's, it's playable, and that's really all we want, right?